I know it's been a long time since I recorded a video, but like, it's time for me to come back and record a video for you guys. But hello there game players, it's Pepe here. Welcome back to another Planocraft episode after like thousands of years. Uh, yeah, you might think, oh well, this guy has done a lot of things apparently. Well, no, I've been lazy all this week. I, I mean all this month I haven't uploaded and yeah, basically the server's dead. I'm not complaining, but like it is, it won't be next season though. So yeah, let's get started with the tour of what I have done. It's just irrelevant, all right? <laughs> don't don't blame me for being lazy, all right? It's just I don't know. Let's get started anyway. <laughs> So, we're here at my build, um, I have shown this before, I am sure, this is the top of the building, this is the ceiling, the roof, this is my cat, I don't know how he got here, he was in the basement of the upper house, perhaps I moved him and he stood up, I don't know, just, just casual questions of life that keep me up at night. Let's go to sleep first, so that we have a bright and shining sun oh apparently i can only sleep at night oh. let me sleep 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 please there we go finally Alright, so good morning, Plundercraft. It's a lovely day outside. Uh, yeah. We'll just go down the stairs instead of the usual jump all the way from the top of the building. Here is Flora. Uh, and Felix must be. Yep, yeah, there he is. There's Felix. Let's just go out by this door. And you can see that there's an eyesore right there. An architectural eyesore. Well, that was Daniel's work. I told him, Daniel, you should come back because he has already finished his season. You should come back to plan the craft and finish that build of yours. And he was like, "All right, I'll do it." And that's what and that's what I got. But the funniest thing of all is that, <laughs> yeah, it's made out of gravel. So we, and I mean we because it was Silver Raptor, Minecraft for Days, and I, we were shooting him to avoid uh, him, to, to keep him from finishing his build. And he was getting mad and everything. And then the strangest things all have happened. I, my internet went bad. Like, <laughs> it rotted itself. So, yeah, it was, it was interesting. It was a fun time. Well, yeah, <laughs> that building has seen things, all right? It's so the near death of this crater, but we don't talk about that. So um, I have been working on the gardens of the upper house. I have added more flowers. This is fairly the same. Oh, look, a gray sheep. If only I have wheat in me, I would feed you. But yeah. Um, I have worked on the gardens of the opera house. I have added rose bushes. I have added tulips, tulips, uh, lilies, or whatever these are. I think they're lavender actually, or whatever. Um, these ones, these ones, and a whole lot more flowers over there. And it's all surrounded by orange tulips, which is my favorite color officially. It used to be red, but you know, foxes. Uh, are orange, not red. So yeah. 
and then I add these fountains. So with these fountains, what I wanted to do is put like this statue on top of them, and that it looked there, like some fountains in Europe and the United States. But the thing is, they keep falling off, and I don't know how to fix that. Maybe I need to remove the water from there, or waterlog a. Um, actually, that might be a better idea. I need to waterlog a slab for this to actually work, apparently. Hopefully I find a way around this issue. I really hope I do. And then I added this Pegasi back here, so we have officially six Pegasi on the Opera House Plaza. Let me just eat real quick. And yeah, about the Opera House, we haven't done much really. We're just missing one cruise girl uh, for the opera to get started as of October 31st, uh, Protestant Reformation Day. So let's go into the metro station. The metro system has been extended. Seriously? Uh, yeah. Well, I added these things here. I saw them first at Dykrim's Castle. And I liked them, and I said, hey, can I use these for the metro? And he said, sure. Uh, so they're like really useful. They usually don't let the mobs in, like usual mobs, not spiders. Spiders just climb over. But yeah, you see, these basically can't stop mobs, I think. According to him, I do hope that he's right. So this is the metro station. Um, nothing has changed here, really apart from tunnels existing. I have other rails, but I still need to add the powered rails and the stopping system to make the minecarts stop here at the station and not go over to the next station. Because <laughs> that's not really how subways work. So let's go this way. I have shown the other station, which is the Plunderville metro station. So let's go this way. Um, this tunnel is one of the best I have made. Don't mind that it's not decorated. Um, it's meant to be this way, because on the in the early days of Plundercraft, we used to mine a lot, and I mean a lot. And yeah, mining is it's basically history now. <laughs> we don't do that anymore, unless we go in the right mining, of course. So yeah, this is supposed to be a mining tunnel. Look, this is supposed to look like a mining channel actually and it will go further in this direction through a mining channel so yeah basically there is a new station and it's the zoo station it's not complete yet um a black kid wants to decorate with faces or anything maybe probably a wallpaper and a ceiling paper <laughs> if that's what it's called it's gonna look cool. I do hope that we are able to finish this station by before the season. And then of course I need to add the granite stairs. But yeah, apart from that, I also need to finish the connection to the mining channel, which is basically this. So let's go out by here. This station is a little bit different. It has the arrival platform here instead of on the sides, just because the tunnel is right here. And I was too lazy to move the tunnel. So I just said, why don't we do this? And yeah. And then there's this entrance again. I really like this design. <laughs> you can tell. So basically, this one goes out by the turtle aquarium thingy. We have turtles here. Wait, I actually had to check because we had four eggs like right there. And I have, I have to check, hold up, I have to check if the baby turtles are there because um, Black Kiwi checked the reservoir and there were like no eggs, so I'm guessing that they hatched. Let's see. If we can find the baby turtles, unless there are these three turtles. Because, you know, baby turtles in Minecraft are microscopic. Literally, I can't see them. Perhaps they're non-existent. But yeah, there were four eggs here. Oh well. We'll get more turtles. 
And there's like a lot in the ocean, I mean a lot. There are abundance in the planet of the ocean. So yeah, that's all in this area. And I think basically that's all that I've been doing. See it? Well, we've been doing. This is why I told you we haven't done a lot just because we don't know what to do anymore. And yeah. Hopefully, we get to do more next season. So, speaking of next season, I'll leave in the link Micro for Days video about next season. Basically, Minecraft Season 2 is gonna be on Minecraft Java, so if any of you are interested, please go ahead and join the Discord group, the Discord server in the description below, which is Planetcraft Official. That's where you can find the application to join Season 2. We're not asking for much, we're just your age, um, the, that picture of your best build, a Minecraft video that you have made, and basically that's all. So yeah, oh, actually I need to show you some, oh, no, wait, never mind. So, so yeah, we haven't done that much here, apart from that giant pumpkin. Wait, hold up, how does it look so well shaded? It looks like it had burned, like in real life, huh? How did this even happen? How? This looks so good, like... Ah! Oh, okay, I see now. Okay. Okay! This is actually cool. Oh, there's one missing here, okay. Wow! That's so cool, like... Oh, wow. I like... I hate Halloween, but I hate... But I like this... These details, like, genius. But yeah, I don't know how they made the pumpkin look like this. I'll have to ask, because if this is shading in Minecraft, I need this. Like, that looks amazing. How does it, oh, oh, I see now. Okay, so they build a, oh wow, that's genius, you know. You can't see that with such low render distance. Wow. I am actually impressed. Like, it blew my mind. It's wonderful. So yeah, just a quick change here. Um, Killer Goblin's house used to be all fiery and everything, and there was a hand coming out. Uh, but now the fire turned down, uh, the fire ran out. The fuel, <laughs> the fuel for the fire ran out. They were unable to pay the gas bills to keep the flame going on. So yeah, it's all abandoned now. What happened to my fox? For now, let's just go and try to sleep. Another day, another wonderful morning in. So yeah, that's everything for this episode of Plundercraft. I really hope that you enjoyed. Even if it was short, not a lot of content. You know, that's just casual paper for you. So yeah, I will see you in the next one. Please make sure to share this video with your friends. Also try applying for Plundercraft Season 2 in the description below. It's gonna be fun. I can tell you that. It's gonna be amazing. So yeah, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye and God bless.